What's going on guys, Jurassic here. Today we're playing the demo for Enshrouded. Special thank you to King Games for giving us a copy a little bit earlier. I wanted to have them plenty of time to patch this game out because it looks super cool. But we do have a character selector here. And let's try the tried and true test. Is my name going to work? There we go, 10 out of 10 game, it actually works. Oh, let's see here, start a private game, save locally. Start a public game, save locally, All right, and join an online game. I think we should do private for now. Obviously, this is just a demo, so we'll just play with regular and hop on in. So we have rested. This is cool. Okay, so we do have eight hours. So depending on how you guys enjoy this, we might actually do a live stream of it because I'm not entirely sure how long the demo is going to be staying up. But I am definitely really curious about this one. To be in with the flame. You slumbered for too long, Flameborn. The realm of Embervale has fallen, consumed by the Shroud. Now then, during flame calls for you. Find a place in the ruined world. Construct a flame altar to create shelter from the dark. Thank you, mysterious voice. Ooh, whoa. Well, what are you? Your light engulfs the knowledge of the ancient breed. Protects in a flaming core. Wisdom is far by own, my own imagination. I could stare into the fire for hours, seeking answers, a whisper, but I hear none. Despite a possessing voice, it only speaks to those born from the flame. The shame is I believe we could have quite an enlightening conversation about the czar. Fast world awaits you. Okay, so I'm to open up the map. Looks like they're sort of holding your hand on this first one. They sort of put you in the right direction for your base. And it also appears we're going to have to be building in a very specific spot at the moment. Is this considered a flame? I mean... I think we're supposed to be looking for a base. <laughs> But this looks super cool, so we're gonna go out and explore some and see what actually happens. We had like some sort of purple glow that activated all the lights around here. So I'm not sure if the map did that itself or if that was part of us. This is one of those things where Say probably not supposed to do this yet, but I'm still gonna look. The flame allows you to resist the shroud, but if you linger, you will perish. To escape the shroud to replenish your maximum time in the shroud. Okay, so just like in other games like this, the torches do eventually burn out, so having multiple definitely will help. And it seems like this game where the darkness actually does punish you, is a very good way. Tab to lock onto your foe. Ooh. What on earth are you? All right, so we got this thing. We got control. Right here, sucker. Around here, that's right. This isn't too bad. I like this. Although I do feel like we're kind of taking a play from Lord of the Rings and we're sort of playing as a hobbit right now. We follow you will rise again at your last return beacon. Okay, so we do have goats. I assume we're going to have to hunt goats eventually for... Well, maybe not. I was gonna say for food, but I don't actually see like a food slider. Okay, so this is just going to be like a 
So what well, we could do? Well, equip with the shield or melee weapon. Press this right mouse button to block. Full time block will parry the attack. Oh man. Parrying is not one of those things that I, oh, depends on the game. Assassin's Creed, I normally can parry pretty good. Other games, it normally for me is just easier to roll out the way. Oh, I thought we were being hunted. Okay, so that's just your stamina bar letting you know it's close to being out. Should be roughly around the area. Okay, so let's go to the journal and see what they want us to do. Ember Veil has fallen, consumed by the shroud. Bring back the light and reclaim the land, establishing a flame altar in the wilds. The flame altar will mark your spot for the base. In your base, you will be able to later craft and build shelter. Promising site to establish a flame altar is marked on your map. Reach the location, craft the flame altar, and place it to proceed. Okay, so if we go to build... All discovered recipes for crafting stations are here. Yep, we get all the gist of it. So we are going to need soon. Okay, so each little rock cluster is going to give about three. That's pretty good. Some of these games normally are doing like super horrible modifiers. This one's not that bad though. All right, so you want the flame roughly in the middle. We'll, we'll just place it where the light is because that'll be cool. You are, let's go into the crafting. So we need a flame bolter. Okay, so if we do you, so we can rotate 90 degrees. We can manually rotate if we want to, or we can use snapping. So it looks like it's going to have like a ring around how large our base is going to be. It wants us to place it here anyway, so it's not like we really have that much of a choice. For this one. We're not alone. There are other survivors drowsing in nearby ancient vaults. Find them so they may aid you in your journey. Go gently, one beckons nearby. Just outside the shroud's grasp. Wait, what? Okay, so we can upgrade the altar, strengthen the flame, they wish the flame to remove the flame altar. Beware, area is not protected by the flame will be consumed by the shroud. Base items will be locked. So this is going to be interesting. So they sort of took like a Conan Exiles approach where there is going to be like NPCs around. I know this game has nothing at all to do with the other one, but I'm just trying to like compare to similar genre games to sort of just what this game is about. All right, we have the shroud over here. We had all hope, digging through the rubble. Our lips whispered prayers to the ancients. Always a watchful eye towards the horizon. Even in the furthest corner of the world, the shroud threatens to engulf us and seal away any array of hope. As the air grew thick with the cursed fog, we held on. As fire raged on the horizon, ash falling like snow on the howling pike, we pushed harder. May this home be kept Usher us into the Bright Age. So it looks like while you're in the enshrouded area, you have about five minutes or so. Finally, break from the tedious work. My bones are sore. But the warmth of a fire, little shelter, and some sleep should allow me to become well rested. Food is getting scarce. I hear that they're planning an expedition. Thankfully, I hit some rations below my bed. This will make for a nice meal when cooked over the fire. I agree, it will. Interact with campfires to cook. Okay. So we can lean meat cook. Oh, nice. You do actually have to have the meat on your hot bar. There we go. Might as well cook both of these while we're here.
So the interesting thing is there is food in this game. All right, so I don't know what we were tracking, but you do have to go inside of your inventory, go over to the journal, and then you can track the quest. So if you click on it, you can clear the waypoint, set the waypoint, and it'll have like a little gold ring around if anyone's curious. So it looks like it was the right way, so it was just automatically doing it. Water is a great source of vitality. Drink it to enhance your stamina and regenerate faster. Okay, so as night comes, you're definitely going to want a whole bunch of torches because you're going to be in the dark the entire time. Yep. Ooh, nice, level two. As we'll take the bones. One. So, I mean, we can't take the bridge. I guess we have to go down this way. We have a choice. We're going for it. Okay, so we got ginormous mushrooms. Brown liquid. long as we can make it to the other side, I think we'll be okay. I was half expecting like a little bit more of like a C. Oh, breach. That was not the safe approach I was expecting. All right, so if we follow the moon, might be okay. Our health's a little low. I say, don't you tell me you can't make it up there. I know you can't. Oh, hold on. We got bandages. This is just kind of like the perfect spooky vibe. I really hope this game comes out like near Halloween because being in the shroud definitely sort of fits. I think we have to go up. There's one of the big ones over there, but we got a torch. I don't know if using it as a melee weapon actually hurts it or not. I assume you're not a friendly. Ooh, level three. Okay, so as we progress, do the enemies level up, or is that just because we're in a harder area? Rookmore. Wrong room. <laughs> yeah, no. I took a wrong turn. My bad, guys. I'll go this way. You guys just forget about me. Like, they're not forgetting about me. What's with those rocks? Ha! They didn't forget about me. Suckers. Okay, that's just a decoration. I thought it was like some sort of like celestial beast or something that was about to start attacking us. Oh, that happens when daytime happens? All right, so it looks like we got some sort of like dung beetles. You, is he above us? So let's see here. I'm kind of curious to see like when we actually make clothes. It's kind of weird. Normally, armor is one of those things that you sort of prioritize in games where this one's like, nah, go out in the darkness. Find this dude sleeping up on the hill. 
Drag him back to your basin. That's it. Basically what he was screaming at us for, for no reason. The good news is, this should be a fast travel. Ooh. I now have the flame! What do I do with it? Okay, so we just have to like scale it up like so? I assume that's the way they intended you to do it. Normally these kind of games, if you spam jump, normally you can run up hills that probably shouldn't be able to. Okay, so this dude just show off in some giant cathedral looking building. Oh, is this the weapons? I little let down, not gonna lie. There's another one. I just grab a weapon out of it. Scruffs. Then we're just gonna have to go for it. We kill these guys. We should be able to go inside that building, and that should be where the dude's sleeping. Maybe you should tell me before I get to the bush and noticed. <laughs> Brought a torch to a weapon fight. All right, well, I found a bed where I can rest. Uh, let's apply some bandages here. Can't believe I just shared a bed with a skeleton. And a bandage, nice. To all those who set their eyes upon my wonders, no, allow me to begin. To all travelers, I have conquered this terrain with my greatness. I'm afraid that that's not right either. The bridge is nearly finished and I cannot find the words to express my joy. Confound it. How lucky had a bountiful mine so close by for materials and ore. One thing I do know is I'll name the bridge Braylon. After my dearly departed to fifth aunt. Though if she were still alive, I'm not sure she would be flattered. For her, the bridge share not just the name, but a brash nature. Can I just craft this on what? I have a weapon? I mean, at least we got a weapon. Like a proper weapon. Eh, proper-ish. I'm 90% sure our torch was doing more damage when I get closer. A little closer? A little bit more? Hit him! <laughs> Sucker. Alright, so we got water. We got fur. We got no weapons. There's one more of them. Alright, well I feel like turning into a wizard is a pretty nice technological advancement that we've made so far. I don't see the other guy. Did he like get lost on his way back? Maybe we're good! Alright, so that's just empty. This must be where the sleeping guy is at. Wait for him to get close. Sorry. Early game? Oh, we have a weapon. A real weapon. All right, so you need to come. Uh, let's do you. Probably should eat before this thing gets raw. Spoiled, rather. I'm not sure if meat actually spoils in this game or not. It was looking a little funky, though. 
Yeah, and the cinder vessel is a delicate contraption, still volatile, yet brimming with potential and hope. The first human to enter will be our true prototype, this kindling of a new spark. Thankfully, the blacksmith volunteered. He must enter the vessel and sleep until the rouse the new, lest he slips into eternity. May the ashes of one age sustain the seeds of the next. Balthazar. Okay, so maybe this is where we put our flame doohickey. Was oh, that not the guy? <laughs> we weren't supposed to do this area, even though we did it. When you need to rest, you can fast travel back to your home, opening your map to navigate to the yeah, yeah. All right, so what do we got for you? By the ancients, I've done it! Equilibrium! The subject sleeps, yet can be awakened. They're dead, yet alive. The subject does not decay, is untouched by the coarse flow of time. A flame soul in a mortal body. Igni serves as proof. We can survive. We can endure. These cinder vessels will be our only chance amidst the shroud. We have no other choice. Oh! We did it! Okay, so we have a survivor. We just need a summoning stat. That means we can come back to our home. I thought it was saying we unlocked a summoning staff. I didn't realize that we needed it. All right, so we should be able to speak with the flame. The survivor will be a worthy addition to her cause. Place them into the world with a summoning staff, which you can craft with some simple twigs. All right, so now we head inside of here. We go into crafting. I highly recommend if you're playing this game to start with a magical wand, especially if you're out in the wild and don't have a choice of making it. I think the bow's going to actually require arrows, but I could be wrong. Okay, so we crafted you. Let's go inside of our backpack. What do we got for summoning staff? You, let's go with number four. Oswald. But I don't necessarily see a place of actually putting you somewhere, so there's a good spot. First gear. <laughs> Took you long enough to find me. Look at you, weak and puny. And they call you Flameborn? First thing you need is a weapon. Luckily you woke me up first. Crafting a scrappy sword or a spice club will serve us well. I got a scythe that I stole from the dude. I don't need it. Ales, scrappy sword, spice club, valiant shield. Ooh, armor. This is it just for a helmet? Or do you have to build the helmet and then you build this and then it just sort of goes down like this? Either way, we don't have enough for anything. What's that doing in the background? Are we still safe? All right, so what do they want us to do for our journal? Do we actually have to build a weapon? We do. The weapons also require wood logs. Chop down trees with a felling axe to gain wood logs. Okay, so create a scrappy sword or a spike glove. You get the option of doing either or. <laughs> it looks like you need nails and logs. We can build nails now. So we'll get two sets of nails. And what do we got for an axe? We need twigs and string. What do we need for string? We don't need anything for string. We just need a twig. Twigs are going to be found in bushes. I feel like the scythe is probably going to be better than the default thing. I could be wrong though. This dude is a grandmaster.
Wait, what? Okay, so plants drop plant fiber and occasionally twigs. I wish things would automatically go to like my main hotbar. All right, so we got three logs. We don't need no wood shield. What is it this time? All upgraded items from your backpack action bar are listed here. Enhancing item unlocks new perks. Each perk. Cost ruins, gather ruins by scavenging weapons and other equipment. Huh, interesting. All right, so you, we need to make just a fair sword. Now, if I look at the, if I hover over you, does it say the damage? So that's 11. That looks much cooler, but it is way weaker. Yep, we'll put you down here. The meat, I haven't even cooked, so there's no point in having it anywhere. Keep it like that. All right, so what do we got for the next mission here? You've awakened your kin. The flame is pleased. Seek out more survivors slumbering in the springlands. All right, guys, well, that's going to be it for today. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe, and let me know if you guys want to see more of this game, because I definitely am having fun. This is one that we will probably be buying as soon as it comes out. They don't have a release date yet, just so you guys are aware, but... See you guys in the next one.